spawn, what you need to do is either from this floor or really any floor, is you need to go on the elevator. That is your primary target. So let's head into the elevator, press the button, and now we will get a random chance of an increase. What the? Look. Damn. I don't care where, Fred, just stop it. Uh, like I said, this is going to be random. Uh, there's whole equations for all this stuff, and people have mapped out every single floor and what you would fight on that floor. For instance, here, I know we're going to be up against three grenade combatants. Somebody took the time to do this. But I'm gonna cut. No, we'll leave this in. It is once again required, after all. So let's go for a beat rush once more. And tank, you just uh, you just attack whoever's alive. Let's try to get as many of the uh, first level limit breaks done as possible. Cross slash, I can wait to uh, hold to, to use that some other time. But you know the uh, the beat rush and the big shot, I want to use as many of those as possible. Cross slash here though, I probably want to use. Cross slash the guy in the back actually it's going to do less damage but the guy in the front is already pretty damn weak go cross slash down he goes more hand grenades so here are the hand grenades that they are talking about so i might as well go since i'm already kind of exposing the game's secrets you might as well go over how much you can increase these by. Every time you press the button here, it's a 12% chance of increasing the floor level by 12, 12.5% uh, 12 chance of increasing the floor level by 7 to 13 levels. So each of those is 12.5, and then you have a 6.25 chance of increasing it by 14 or 15 levels each. So. A 1 out of 8 chance for 7 through 13, a 1 out of 16 chance for 14 and 15. Now we're up at level 23. This is going to be boring again, unfortunately. We're up against more grenade combatants. Two, though, this time. Nothing too bad. I should probably heal when I get a chance. Go bolt on everybody. They're barely doing damage to us as it is, though. This is not difficult. Go Bolt! I should use the magic more often in this game. It's always been my tendency in games like this to just use basic attacks as I go along and heal as necessary. But really, the game is so forgiving when it comes to save points and tents and that kind of stuff that I can really just spam magic the entire game, more or less. I never need to use Ethers up to level 35. Ooh. We do have a new enemy this time. We're up against a creepy looking thing. This is a sword dance. Is it just me or is Tank's limit break a little different color here? Did he get fused somewhere along the line here? I'm gonna have to check him off screen as soon as we're done. Is he Fury right now, or is Fred sad? Either way, the sword dance goes down. He's not difficult. Yeah, Tank is Fury right now. Ah, he can stay Fury for all I care. I think he actually does a little bit more damage too. It's not like he's taking that much damage anyway. Up to level 45. Honestly, I don't know what happens here. Damn it, the person that did not skip this part. How dare you? We are up against a new enemy, though, a moth slasher. Let's just attack him as necessary. So, uh, tank. Yeah, he tends to miss too when you're Fury. Fury is a kind of a complicated thing. It's kind of like Berserk. See how much his, his limit gauge went up, though? That is very good for what I'm trying to do. I would I really do want Tank to get his next limit break, so I do want to use Big Shot as much as possible. I think I've only used it two or three times though so far. Alright, leveling up again. Up to level 57. Ooh, another new enemy. 
looks good. And then this should be the the last one. We are very close to the end here. Oh, and Fu no, Fury is still there. Uh, we're up against a hammer blaster. He has a hammer, and he likes to use it, as you might expect. Nothing here is going to be that difficult, to be honest with you. Every everything from this point is pretty easy except for boss fights i would say there are a couple boss fights here that are still pretty difficult but outside of that we should be good with random encounters i will take all the experience that you're willing to give me not enough for tank to level up again just yet he is very very close all right so i've already taken the drama out of this one this one will take us to the 59th floor which is the floor that we've been looking for this whole time. And now we come. And we are free to move on. And how you guys doing? Destroy the intruders. Are these guys upgrades? I don't think they are. I think these are still the grenade. No, they are definitely upgrades. Definitely. Mighty grunts, they do. Let's you bolt on them because they look mechanical. And mechanical always means that it is time to use bolts. If you could go ahead and, you know, hit tank, that would be greatly appreciated. Down goes one of them, kind of. I said tank. He only needs to get hit one more time. Come on, kill the mighty grunt. He's not so mighty anymore, but he is still grunty. So, kill him. Oh god, it's been a long time since I've said grunty. No, no, I'm not doing that series, sorry. <laughs> oh, stop. Oh, there we go. Limit, big shot on uh, that guy. And we'll probably kill him as a result of it. Go, big shot. Just make a giant fireball and shoot at that guy. And, well, we took off his shell. He didn't die, though. Now he is dead. Should he heal Fred eventually. Just finish this guy off. Another roller spin. 29. Look at the limit limit gauge. Just go way up because of that though. I should probably heal that fury at some point. Because it does decrease his chances of hitting, which is never good. Never good at all. But we finally get that level up. Very nice. And as a result of that battle, we find something on the ground. What's this? Key item card. 60. Key card 60, actually. Now. Hey, Fred, you come all this way? You thinking of going back down to the first floor? No. Yeah, that's right. Let's go on then. If you were to climb the stairs, you would end up up here. And this is how you could get in, and you just have to take on these guys. You can avoid all the commotion that we have done to this point. Surely we are being very sneaky still, and nobody is on to us and can shut off the elevators. Let's get in this one. Uh, obviously, we need to go to the 60th floor. It's the only place we can go. Anything higher than this is going to require a key card. This is a giant-ass town, by the way. Hey, how you doing? I hope Olive is all right. This is the real thing. Don't let your dog down. It is indeed the real thing, and we get a small little full motion video. This game is full of very small full motion videos. And we have made it onto the 60th floor. Just a little screen there. Before we move on, what are you doing here? No authorized people are allowed in here. So, we are not allowed to pass him there, but we can go right in here and mess with his computers and all that kind of stuff. Look at that! All them gods is running around! Fred, you go on ahead and signal us whether it's safe to come. Y you sure? Stay in the shadows! Those guards turn around and move! So, this is the first uh, little mechanic that we got here. Uh, what you want to do is move, you know, pretty much when the guards can't see you. Uh, they have a pretty set pattern. And it's pretty easy to figure out. 
you know, they kind of cross each other, then go to the other side. They cross each other, and then they go to the other side. To the other side. Cross. And to the left. There they go. Very simple pattern. If you get into a fight, I believe a total of three times, they'll just take away the guards and feel bad for you. Because you can't figure it out. But really, you shouldn't need to do that. Shouldn't need to do that. I was pressing the wrong button, so we get to show off at least one fight against these guys. I think it's the same guys. I should need to heal, though. They do get a an attack from both sides. I forgot what it was called, because I was... Well, I wanted to call it a pincer attack, but they don't call that. Let's call it that in this game. Unfortunately, with Bolt, it won't uh, affect both sides like that, so... We're gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way. Beat up Mighty Grunt A. Uh, like I said, I think it's six times that you have to fight these guys if you want them to go away. If you want the experience, feel free. Holy crap, that was a lot of damage. Can we get a limit break out of that? Damn right we do. Go, big shot. Let's see if we can't finish this guy off with a big shot here. 153, not enough for the full victory, but enough to take out his outer shell, and then that is enough. Definitely need to heal. 100 more. Are you going to put me all the way back at the beginning? Or are we going to... Oh, all the way back at the beginning. What the hell are you doing? Come on, you got to do it again. All right, let me heal. I'll meet you back when everybody is in the middle again. Okay, back to the middle. These guys should be fairly easy to get by as long as I remember that I have a run button, and that is different from the OK button. For whatever reason, I got that confused. Uh, I don't like the looks of that. It's a long run for tank. So let's wait until I'm a little bit more ready to go, and then cross. And now you're across. Let's wait for him to go back to the other side because once again, this first run it takes a little time. But they are pretty forgiving when it comes to this at the end of it. Just, you know, run and all that good stuff. Okay, we gonna rock! Remember, we're here to save Olive. Hell, I know that! Sure you do. You're not here to kill everybody and everything at all. But we are on the 61st floor here. Now, is this the one that I'm thinking of? It is not. I thought there was going to be a save point here, but there is not. How you doing? This is the lounge floor. Above us are the special floors for the big wigs in the company. It's tough working under someone. It tires you out. It can. Sure. I thought I heard a ruckus downstairs a minute ago. Do you know what that was all about? It was the end of the Matrix. No idea, but no need to worry because everything above the 60th floor is safe. Do you say the same thing if I'm... Yeah. Damn you and your couple's conversations. Believe... No, this is, that is not the person I thought it was going to be someone new, but he just walked under the tree. 